Hello Allegheny. How's everyone? It's August and uh, I'm here on number uh, in front of number two green. Every month I try to do a tip for you. This month's tip is uh, I think the secret to golf or one of the secrets, one of my secrets I think. It helps me uh, get through some um, tough times, some when I'm under pressure or coming down the stretch or have a tough shot, this thought really helps me. And the thought is, where should the bottom of your swing be? I'm here hitting some pitch shots, some maybe uh, 40, 50 yard pitch shots, but this is true with all, all every shot you hit off the ground. So your irons, your, your pitches, your fairway woods, your hybrids, where should the bottom of your swing be? A lot of people might think the bottom of your swing should be at the ball. Well, that's not true. All the best players in the world on the PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, the bottom of their swing is about four inches in front of the ball. So when I'm in under pressure, I'm hitting a chip or practicing, I'm always thinking about four inches in front of the ball. When I make practice swings, I try to make my practice swings four inches in front of this ball. I'm always training trying to get my swing bottom forward. I've hit shots fat behind the ball. It doesn't feel very good. So I, I'm always trying to move this swing bottom forward so I can hit the ball first and then disturb the ground. You don't have to take divots. You just have to disturb the ground. Um, many times when we're teaching, we will take a tee and put it four inches in front so that our student can hit their ball. Obviously they're aiming at the ball, but we want them to aim at this tee so that they can get their swing bottom a little more forward. So as I do that, I put a tee there. I'm trying to aim at that tee And you can see I hit, hit the ball and then I clipped that tee after I hit that ball. So my swing bottom was four inches in front of that ball. So if I have a shot in a tournament, under pressure, tight lie out of the fairway, I try to make sure that my swing bottom's forward. Now how do I do that? I get my swing bottom up here, but how do I get my swing bottom up there? Well, you have to make sure your body, your center of your body is also getting forward. If I don't get my buttons on my shirt forward of that ball or moving forward, there is no way I can get there. So a lot of people as they chip or hit or whatever, they're moving backwards. So now their center's behind this ball and they're gonna hit behind. Their swing bottom's gonna be behind the ball. So I watched, I was fortunate enough to video and watch Jose Maria Lothaball, probably the best pitcher in the world around the greens. And when he pitches, his center is moving forward. It's in front of that ball. So if I have a tough shot or off the fairway, I'm trying to make sure my center's forward so that my club can bottom out four inches in front. You can see all those little divots in front of that ball. And when I'm done, I'm finished with all my weight on my left side and my center is in front of that ball. So even though it's a little shot, I have a nice finish position. So you can see here I am finished. My belt buckle's towards the target, my chest towards the target. So the last thing you want to do is, I hear a lot of people say, stay down. Well, when you stay down, you're liable to hit behind that ball. You want to be, I think you want to be going forward and you want to be growing taller so that you can get your swing bottom, you can disturb the ground after the ball. Okay, so if you have any questions, comments, come see Drew, Randy, myself.
We'll be happy to help uh, help you with this. Be happy to explain it to you. We can give you plenty of, of examples and uh, show you why it works. Everybody have a great August. We'll see you on the golf course. Thank you very much.